I want to get into a dispatch posting about Jungkook dating and what happened there. So hey, dumb, this is Dave Desai. Hater or not, make sure you're subscribed with the notification bell on. Grab a dumpling, hey, spilling mug merch, and let's go. Jungkook and V actually attended a movie premiere together. They attended the dream movie premiere and this premiere was for V. And, and I think Jungkook then went as a plus one. The internet erupted with Taekook and Taekook is dating and all those things. And then others just thought it was cute that the two were just there to support. And V was asking Jungkook to join because he wanted moral support for something that is a big deal for V's career. And if Jungkook wasn't doing too much, then why not go? This became suspicious to some people when Dispatch posted Taekook separately from the other people in the cast on Instagram. And if you are not aware, Dispatch is responsible for announcing couples every year and over the years they've gained credibility because they are sometimes correct about who is dating who. So much so that people look forward to the beginning of every year to see who they will announce is dating that year. And Dispatch is also known to follow idols, so people definitely believe they're reporting more. So people were saying since V and Jungkook were posted separately, it must mean dating. However, you still have to keep in mind Dispatch is a media and news site. Their goals are to get people coming back and read their stories. The fact of the matter, posting V and Jungkook together garners a lot of attention. So much so that the photos with V and Jungkook together garnered over 1 million likes. Keep in mind most photos on Dispatch's account on the day to day typically get under 500,000 and usually much less. So they were correct that posting V and Jungkook would get people's interest. This became an even bigger deal when Dispatch also posted on their YouTube channel. They posted an edit of V and Jungkook at the movie premiere, Red Carpet, and decided to put the emoji of two men holding hands in the caption. Dispatch has done this before allegedly in 2018 where they posted a photo of V and Jungkook taking a picture of the sunset together to also add a holding hand emoji. So many people think this was Dispatch's way of confirming it. But what is interesting to me is that Dispatch isn't typically shy about announcing these sorts of things. They would typically drop this news right away if it was confirmed or if they were a thousand percent sure. I think they haven't announced anything because they're not a thousand percent sure yet. I think they know that the two together garner a lot of attention and they know talking about a relationship gets a lot of attention. And I say this as a way to say that the media will do what they need to do to get attention. So keep in mind that there is that incentive behind everything that they do and there's a reason why they would play towards that specific fan culture. By they I mean dispatch. Doesn't mean it's not true, doesn't mean it's true, it means it's not confirmed. And also keep in mind that dispatch is not in Fallible. I think this is something that I want to say as a general disclaimer about that media site. It was allegedly believed that Dispatch was wrong at least once when they announced Lee Jong Shuk and Park Shin Hai were dating. Dispatch posted the news article and very soon the label actually came out to deny that the two were dating to say that the two were just really close friends. Of course, Dispatch fired back with more photos of Park Shin Hai taking extra precaution when visiting Lee Jong Shuk than she does with the other guy friends. But then the two idols denied it. They just said that the two were very close. And regardless of dating or not, two idols of opposite genders still need to do this because it will become a dating rumor even if it's not. And if the two are saying that they're not dating, I have to choose to believe that they are not. I wanted to get into an alleged hotel staff talking about Jungkook. Apparently a hotel staff leaked the exact rooms and everything of where the BTS boys were staying during one of their trips. The exact hotel I will not name, but the only reason I feel it's okay sh to show this information is because they are long gone from this area. And quite honestly, the more people know, the less likely BTS will ever stay at this particular hotel. But it was shown that the members are staying on the third floor and each of them had separate rooms except for Taeyang and Jungkook. This of course sparked the dating rumors as the hotel staff who leaked it had intended to do this to allegedly bring attention to the gay dating rumor. Now we also have to take this with a grain of salt because anyone can type up a room chart and leak it to say that they are hotel staff. But I do think it's interesting that rumors of stalkers come up a lot when these two are together because it could literally be any member together and the dating rumors don't really happen as much. There were people who were arguing that the same thing happens when it's with Jungkook and Jimin as well. To say that there's many moments where those two are together so both rumors are invalid. But we will never know until they confirm it themselves. 
The rumor with Jungkook and Tan come up in this scenario as opposed to rumors of the boys just sharing a room, which they normally do, and even sharing a bed, which they normally do, because people think it's odd that the two could have easily rented another room and each member could have their own personal room. This is usually not a problem because the company was rumored to rent out an entire floor when they go to hotels just to ensure privacy and no unauthorized person is ever coming into that floor. So why did the members need to double up? There's many reasons for this. First off, people didn't catch that Jin and Jimin also shared a room. So this tells me that the hotel could have just been smaller or there was very limited space at that specific hotel. If you go to places like New York, you'll definitely see that. I've lived here my entire life, so I have obviously never gotten a hotel here, but one time I had friends stay, I got to see how small it was. They have one floor, sometimes it's like five rooms. And companies tend to book hotels and flights last minute in case something comes up before they have to go. And so they don't have to go because nothing is booked. So likely there were many rooms that were taken and they needed to double up. There's definitely a lot of speculation and rumors that happened, but I think we need to listen to the boys and definitely don't pay too much attention to these weird leaks of false information. I also wanna get into the alleged strip club video footage that was taken allegedly by a stalker and then also get into V and Lisa moments. V and Lisa decided to hang out and chill in Paris and just have some fun. They ended up going ahead and going to to a club. It appeared like a club and some people were saying gay club, which Paris has plenty of, so why not, right? But I have no idea if this is a gay club or not. V was seen on the stripper pole and people were saying that he did a really great job spinning on the pole. I think most people are shocked because he was able to twirl easily, but the stripper pole turned. Like if you hold it, it can spin. You don't actually have to move for it to spin. V is very talented, but no, he did not go and learn how to be a stripper from another stripper or whatever. People were saying that he was hanging around gay people and possibly dating or hooking up with them. And we do see pictures of him with other alleged gay people at the club and people online saying that he was gay and dating these people because he was hanging out with these people. But hanging out at a gay club doesn't mean you're gay. Gay clubs are probably one of the most fun places to hang out because there's no expectation of you needing to sleep with anyone. I don't know when straight clubs became this thing where it was meant to go just to hook up. While gay clubs you can go, whether you're gay or not, and just enjoy the vibes and the music and whatever and not be hit on the entire time you're there. So it's just a fun vibe. And I don't see that V went there necessarily because he was gay, but just because he might have thought this would be fun. Lisa was also at the club and she seemed like she had a fun time too. This was all seen because a fan had posted a video of Tang and Lisa at the club doing this. I can only imagine some of these people were just jealous people because they took the video and claimed that the people who recorded Lisa and Tang were stalkers. But do you see how close the accused stalker was to Tang and Lisa? It appeared like they were at a table literally right by the two idols. Meaning if they were allowed to be this close, it was probably some of the people that Lisa and Tang were just hanging out with and having fun with that night. There's literally several photos and clips of that night. And when you see an idol having fun and on a pole, why wouldn't you record that? You wouldn't want to remember that. Others were saying that they're sessons because this was the idol's time off and it was their private time. The two idols were there to work. This was not their private time. And casual fans who may not know this army culture of don't record Tang and Lisa on their time off would just record because they think it's cute and fun and think that the two idols wouldn't mind. This doesn't mean they're stalkers. But what do you think? Do you think the footage was taken by a stalker or do you think this was just jealous people who wanted to start something because they couldn't be there with Tang and Lisa at the club? And then I want to get into RM pushing the gay dating rumors of Jungkook even further. RM recently released his new collaboration with his favorite artist So Yoon, Smoke Sprite, and surprisingly he was able to find time to come by and support Cookie. He started saying really flirty things like baby and flirting hard by saying that he likes Jungkook's voice and then even asked Jungkook out on a date. Jungkook responded to say that RM should not be saying these things on the live and in public and felt like RM was confirming a dating rumor here between the two. And the two have been also rumored to be dating for a while. Basically every member of BTS has been shipped with Jungkook. There's a lot of rumors even outside the group that say that Jungkook is dating some man and people believe that he might not be entirely straight due to his character in Seven Fates and even just how touchy he is sometimes with other men. So there's plenty of rumors of who he could be with and many times it's a boy. RM saying this, people thought that it was him confirming that Jungkook could be dating a man and would be interested. However, nothing like this has ever been confirmed and many of the things that I have talked about before are not even close to confirmation of an orientation. If Jungkook is okay with gay culture and he could very much be an ally and not necessarily part of that culture. You have artists like Ricky Martin who sing about girls but he's very openly gay. However, it's 
quite obvious that ARM is playing up the fangirls that are usually in the comments saying those things. Jungkook doesn't get as many marry me comments, but he sure does get a lot of let's go on a date comments. Those comments happen when he is on a stream because Jungkook will usually respond and entertain the idea at least for a few moments. Even on this stream, another army had asked and Jungkook made sure to find their name, respond, and even said that the two were dating for five minutes. I like that he flirts with armies like this and I had never even considered dating for five minutes. This way Jungkook could possibly get through every single person that wants to date Jungkook. Everyone might have a chance, y'all, but you only get five minutes with my hubby. But I am definitely curious to know what your thoughts are on all of this. How do you feel about Jungkook apparently breaking the rules by drinking on the stream? And do you think he would ever reveal too much information on the stream that he does that would get him in trouble? How do you feel about Arm allegedly perpetuating this gay dating rumor of Jungkook? And how do you feel about the lovely and cute interaction with BTS and their bodyguard? Hey down please, it's Dave Decide. Today I want to get into Jungkook doing a camping V live and why people are saying this is a gay date and why some Koreans are mad. I also want to get into Jungkook saying that he fell for a man. So hater or not, make sure you subscribe with the notification bell on, grab your dumpling, tea spilling mug merch, and let's get into it. There's definitely some controversy with the whole idea that BTS members are gay. So obviously the controversy is to not assume their orientation, but I do think it's quite funny that if I were to make a video talking about the rumors of him and Lisa from Blackpink dating, which are not true, but if I were to make that video, suddenly the conversation would no longer be stop assuming his sexuality. If you're anti-gay or homophobic, just say that and go. In the way we can talk about him possibly dating a woman, we can talk about him possibly dating a man. There's been many signs or things of him even possibly being bi. I do think he likes women. I do think he likes IU and all that. But he's also said, whether joking or not, we don't know, that he has some interest in men. And I'm not going by ship moments where Jungkook hugs Taeyang or whatever, which are cute, but it's a hug and you can do that with people you're close with. By the way, we have plenty of cute Taekook ship reactions over on Patreon. If you want to join the fangirling over those cute moments, check it out. I will link the Patreon in the description. There was some moments previously where Jungkook was at a fan meet. And now keep this in mind, this is speculation and a rumor because during fan meets, you're not allowed to respond or take photos. That doesn't mean people still don't do that and that it doesn't leak because we still see footage of this, but it's technically not allowed. Celebrities like to be candid with their fans at fan signs. And if you record a video and it's taken out of context or they may be in a more vulnerable state and people capture that, it doesn't look good, right? So we can only go by the stories that armies tell at these events. Take it with a grain of salt. But a male army wrote a letter to ask Jungkook out on a date. Jungkook basically responded that was very brave of him to ask. This was ages ago and I assumed at this time it was definitely considered taboo in Korea. But Jungkook also added all right, meaning he'd do the date. But I'm assuming the date never happened, but he could have gone about it in many ways. A lot of artists will say something like, sorry, not into guys, or if you were a girl, maybe. And I've seen this a lot. Jungkook could have written this and it'd be totally fine. But he chose something a little more accepting and more risque for the time, which made a big statement that either Jungkook himself is gay or that he heavily supports. Again, if this is true. There was another moment previously during, I believe, J-Hope's V-Live. Jungkook walks in as J-Hope is playing a chicken noodle soup and Jungkook decided to do the dance, which is so cute. Jungkook was saying how the moment he saw the music video, he loved it and memorized the dance and then said that this was the moment he realized he fell for a man. Of course, as I said, this can be seen as a joke, but also goes to show that there's no issue with him around people speculating his orientation. If he was so scared or worried about being seen in this light, he would not do any of this. Have you seen some celebrities who are slightly homophobic and they try their very hardest not to do anything remotely gay? Yeah, those people would be offended if you speculated. Jungkook? No. And people get so mad at speculation. The whole point of PR and a publicist is to get people to speculate. There's a literal person in the label and in a celebrity's team and that is their job, is to get people to speculate. PR almost by definition of their job is to keep people wondering and talking and of course in this way keep the boys names top of mind. Interestingly enough BTS doesn't really need their PR team because armies will talk no matter what but that doesn't mean BTS or the label are against anyone having speculation. My opinion is we do not know what the boys are but it is okay to speculate. What do you think about this? Is your opinion more so that we shouldn't think anything or as long as it's not harmful it's okay to talk about? I am very curious to know your thoughts on that. There's multiple threads on Twitter that talk about and compile compilations of gay BTS moments that are so cute and fun. And this to me is harmless. There's people who are upset about this. And of course, on a platform like Twitter where everyone is gay, they may not get away with talking about being anti-gay. They'll get ratioed or mobbed online. And so what they'll do is head to a Korean platform
platform where the fans are less likely to support gay people and agree with them that these tweets compiling gay moments are bad. One person, very surprised, responded to one of these threads saying, Twitter armies are such a disease. Stop sexualizing them. They are not gay. We can't pass a single day without seeing your unnecessary dramas. I don't think you even respect BTS or what. Since when is being gay drama? I mean, being gay is always like drama, but not drama, you know? And then like the idea that Koreans would ban or shun BTS away if they were ever to actually come out. But I'm not even concerned about them coming out because all of them are celebrities and they will have their own way of dealing with hate if they were to get hate for coming out and they can cry into their millions of dollars. But for those who are armies and are looking at BTS being so open or so non-caring about what people are thinking, like seeing Jungkook being okay with being called gay, might encourage a male army to have strength to come out to his parents. But then seeing this online where people say being gay is called drama and unnecessary and also sexualized, like sexualizing someone, especially if they don't want to be, it can be a bad thing. So all these negative connotations that this Weverse army is saying about gay people, it would be quite discouraging for anyone. Being gay or queer or whatever is hard enough. For a big portion of your life, you are almost gaslighting yourself because being like, I like this person who is the same gender as me, but then being like, no, I don't, that's not a real feeling. Or this is just a phase you'll get over. That's something you fight with on your own. You don't need someone to tell you additionally that those feelings are drama. Please think about the words that you or your friends or your family put on social media. Even if only one stranger sees it, you never know how they'll remember it or if it'll scar them. Now, there were alleged rumors and no actual photos of proof that I saw of people saying that Jungkook and Taehyung were spotted together in Busan right before this live stream. Again, I don't know where this comes from because you can literally say anything, right? If you tweet at it to enough people and big Twitter accounts, someone will also talk about it and maybe they'll blast it to a bigger platform. And when people see a big account tweet something, they're more likely to believe. But of course, this rumor came right at the time Jungkook did the live stream. So people think Jungkook was on a camping date with Tang in Busan, but there seemed to be no one with him as he was doing the live stream alone the entire time of the stream and it was very quiet. If it was Tang that was with him, I highly doubt he wouldn't pop in at a certain point or you would hear some noise of him doing something, right? Either by the fire, him walking around, just things. But it was really silent the entire time of the stream. I don't know if I would be able to stay or sit still for 30 minutes the duration of the stream without making a drop of sound. I was even a bit concerned for Jungkook why it appeared he was in the middle of nowhere all alone. And while we see him for like 30 minutes or so for the stream, he was probably there for at least a full night. So that's quite brave of him. So what do you think? Would some Koreans be upset if Jungkook was actually on a date? Do you think he was with someone or by himself? And if you think he was with someone, who do you think it could be? I don't see why it wouldn't be another member of BTS, but perhaps if he was with someone, it would have been a friend, kind of like what people thought he was with at the Jazz Festival. Today, I wanna to get into RM talking about and finally addressing the orientation of the boys and what happened with that and why some people are mad. I personally really hope that BTS will find happiness in whatever form or way they choose to find happiness. We can't know the orientation of the members 100%, but I can tell you they don't have anything against gay people, possibly being gay or anything like that. They have shown several signs in the past of them on stage sharing the pride flag and supporting that. They have worn pride colors. People chalk this up to, oh, they're Korean. They may not know what it means and they're just wearing it. And this thought comes from people who say if BTS was gay, they would unstand. And those people believe BTS is not only not gay, but they do not support gay people. And BTS members have no idea what the pride flag and colors mean. And if they did, they wouldn't wear it on stage. Korea also has pride flags. It's a smaller and niche group of people. It's not the mainstream people there, but the group of LGBT people who are loud and open about it are loud and open about it. But also like how dumb do you believe the members are? Like they have no idea or have never seen a pride flag. They don't live under a rock. They're well-traveled. And for one, RM reads a lot of books. And secondly, if they were literally living under a rock, you probably wouldn't like them as much because they wouldn't think to shave or cut their hair or dye their hair or even wear the trendy fashionable things. Because people living under a rock do not participate in looking trendy and fresh. It was previously seen that RM had addressed some of the gay comments and talked about kind of what the boys were doing during their press for the Love Yourself era. There was an interview that asked a great question about the album. And if you don't know, the songs in that album and the message were trying to teach this idea of learning to love yourself and finding that love within. The interview asked what true love meant to all the members, which is kind of a indirect way of talking about dating, but the interviewer didn't really go in that direction. They were kind of referring to the more self-love thing. But RM actually answered this one to say that oftentimes the boys are lonely and think that they want boyfriends and girlfriends, but ultimately 
ultimately they need to find love within themselves. If this answer is already kind of shocking to you, hold on, we will discuss. But the interviewer continued and asked about the boyfriend and girlfriend and saying that does BTS even have time to date? And Suga took this question and I don't know if he understood the question, but he completely did not answer the question. He ignored it and answered that the members need to find this love within themselves, which is something we can all work on. There's very few people in the world that just love themselves. But this was interesting because I think people were surprised that RM said boyfriend and not just girlfriend because he could have literally just said girlfriend. Personally, if I was around a group of six straight friends, I would never refer to them as dating men or having boyfriends. I would say, if you get a girlfriend, dot, 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 especially since there was no way they would have ever talked about dating men. RM's next line was that the members talked about how lonely they are, sometimes for not dating. So the members discussed dating in their private time. And maybe this is where the idea that the members might get boyfriends would come from. RM likely has had these conversations. And if a member was like, oh, I would prefer to try dating men, then RM would think, okay, so maybe this one wants a boyfriend. And of course, there's theories of members dating each other, which could be likely or whatever it is. The members also haven't dated much and maybe never got a chance to explore what they may or may not actually like. I know straight men who have dated men and were like, this is not for them. But if the members of BTS never got a chance to try it, they don't know. But there's a few theories I have. I think while this is all possible, I think RM was trying to say something different. I believe he was saying having a relationship like boyfriend and girlfriend, meaning they're the boyfriend looking for a girlfriend. I don't think he was referring to boyfriend specifically, but that is my theory. It's very possible he could have been. I just like to also review the other side as it is also a possibility and it's fair to see both. This also goes to show that the members would like to date and consider that something that they really want to do, meaning that they end up dating or whatever it is, we definitely need to support them and show them love for doing so, whether that is with a man or a woman. Other people hate this idea of the members being gay so much that they would prefer BTS disband or members removed if they were gay. And this is frustrating. I don't think we have had a gay boy band or even that many members that ended up being gay in a boy band. There's always rumors, but I think there was nothing confirmed, but I could be wrong. This idea that the members could be open about being gay is a beautiful thing. If you're someone who would unstand because of something that the boys can't help, like if they were gay, now they just have to pretend to be straight. Is that really a life you want someone who you supposedly care about? Even if you're against this type of marriage and dating, wouldn't you want them to be happy? You can think that being gay is a sin or whatever you want, but everyone sins at the end of the day. You'd be choosing which sin you prefer of them, but then saying being gay is not a sin you prefer. You don't get to choose the sin you prefer. You either hate everyone or you hate no one. And if it's for religious reasons and you believe God told you not to be gay, then like let God handle it. God also told you not to hate people. So love gay people and let them quote unquote sin and let God deal with them. Watch God do nothing because God doesn't care. Today I have a few things I want to get into. The first being BTS and Jungkook on a talk show and why some armies are mad at the clip revealing a certain type of Jungkook relationship. I definitely want to talk about this. The first thing I want to get into is of course this quote unquote gay relationship. So if you aren't aware and have been living under the biggest rock under the sea, like living with Patrick from Spongebob, then you may not know that Butter has been released and BTS is currently doing American press for the song and has been all over American TV. Cannot say the song has unbelievably done well and I am so glad it's being so well received here in America. It means a lot for us Asians here. That particular show that we're going to be talking about today is The Late Show with Colbert, not to be confused with The Late Late Show with James Corden. But BTS was on the show and they did a little skit that had everyone talking. Specifically, everyone was talking about how the boys' English was so good and that they were able to speak English in this skit. It was basically a skit of the boys doing hand gestures. We know they popularized the hand heart thing. I thought they invented it, but they did not take credit for that. So I assume it existed before BTS and whoever did that deserves the credit. But they wanted to go over some cute hand gestures they just came up with and they were quite hilarious about it. Tan came up with the pizza gesture and all that. They spoke entirely in English the entire time and everyone was impressed by everyone's English and specifically Jimin's English. People were saying that Jimin's English was like an eargasm and that he sounded very good. He does. He sounds amazing. I would say that everyone's speaking voice is much lower when they speak English. Isn't that weird? If you speak multiple languages, record yourself speaking English and whatever other language you speak and hear how much higher or lower your pitch is when you speak both languages. Anyway, some people were saying that BTS was reading a script and that they didn't really know English, but you'd still have to know English to read the script. 
And if you can read it, then you can probably say it. So either way, their English is coming along so well, and they really didn't even need to learn English, but they did. So props to them. Now, in one of the segments they were filming for this skit, they did one where it was Jungkook and Taehyung in the same frame, and they were being cute. A lot of people were surprised that Colbert or whoever the producer was chose to have Taehyung and Jungkook together because maybe they knew that us Taekook shippers love a little Taekook moment. We do. It's true. We also rarely ever see Taekook moments lately, and it makes me kind of sad that we don't get to see as much as often. We also rarely ever see Taekook moments lately, and it makes me kind of sad that we don't get to see as much as often. But they could have their cute moments off camera, and we don't know. But in this skit, Tang was behind Jungkook and showed the world their version of an almighty, super powerful bunny ear. It's regular bunny ears, but two of them. Joe's ears. Joe's pair of ears. And it was really funny. I was happy to see them interacting on camera again, and I didn't think too much of it. I knew the tweetster was going to go crazy, but I didn't know what would happen. Later on Instagram, apparently, the Colbert show posted a selfie of BTS and Steven. And it is alleged that the social media manager for the Colbert show, or maybe Colbert manages it himself, posted a picture and had a bunch of hashtags in the caption, or maybe in the comments. It was a list of hashtags related to BTS. And usually you'll post a big batch of hashtags, either in the comments or the caption of the Instagram post to get the photo or post more views. Allegedly, one of the hashtags said take cook in there. I went to look for the photo. I did not really see any of those hashtags there. And I didn't see any post by Colbert in the comments. However, those things can be deleted and removed considering the amount of people talking about it on the tweetster. So if it was a social media manager that posted it, they could have seen the backlash online and just removed it. I don't know. But I'm looking at the other photos posted and there isn't a long list of hashtags that are posted in the comments or in the caption. Now apparently over on El Tweetster, the late show tweetster, retweeted an army's post talking about the cute Taekook moment. This of course became a much bigger deal as Taekook was actually retweeted. People on the tweetster were pretty mad about this and a lot of people claimed that the Taekook fandom is crazy for being happy over this. Some saying, Joker is getting pressed over Stephen Colbert using Taekook in his recent post. The thing is, you can take it however you want. You can take it as real or fake. And if you believe it's quote unquote confirmation, whatever. But at the end of the day, I don't know if the Colbert show or Colbert himself would keep up with BTS so much that they would know the in-depth fan culture of Taekook. They likely just used a hashtag or whatever because they saw millions of people like Taeyang and Jungkook together. Any of you have ever tried to get your picture or post seen on social media, you probably have used unrelated hashtags or hashtags you don't really know the meaning of. And while there's nothing wrong with that, Colbert did not use an unrelated one. I just don't think he knew what people were going to be saying about him using one hashtag. At the end of the day, I don't think any of these ships, Tay Cook or otherwise, actually hurts or damages the artists. Whether you believe it's real or not, it's cute and it's fun. And we're all allowed to have our fun opinions on it. I wanted to get into Jungkook shamed for an alleged gay lover that, in my opinion, does not exist. There was another moment on the stream that had so many people talking and speculating. Jungkook talked about Jimin. Now, if you know, then you know, but Jimin and Jungkook are one of the highest shipped two members in the group, especially now that there is this rumor of Taeyang and Jennie. People figured that Jimin and Jungkook are possibly the realest ships. But all this is speculation and none of this is proven right now. So anyone arguing over this, just keep in mind, you're literally arguing over something that is not confirmed and no one really knows. Jungkook talked about how how he had bought Bam, his dog, outside, and then Jimin left to go to England. This, of course, made the community scream because this made the theory that Jungkook and Jimin lived together to be true. But unless you're Korean or speak Korean, there's no way to know what the actual translation was. Others were saying that the translation was just Jungkook saying that Jimin and him were hanging out the other day before Jimin headed off to London. And the idea of Jimin and Jungkook hanging out is not really unheard of. People were then upset because if by bringing up Jimin and Jungkook's name together, this will cause Jimin to get dragged by other shippers who ship Jungkook and whoever else. The fandom will use the words, they're setting Jimin up for hate. I see this a lot and I don't understand it fully. Setting someone up for hate or bad things would imply a direct effort made on those people's behalf to ruin Jimin or get hate thrown at him. Saying Jimin's name next to a literal team member is not setting him up. Jimin is a part of a boy group, BTS, maybe you've heard of them, and sometimes his name alongside other members' names will come up. Sometimes Jimin and other members will do things together and hang out. That's normal. And if that is setting Jimin up, then everyone needs to reevaluate what they're doing because how on earth can someone avoid this? I've seen people get hate for just mentioning Jungkook and Jimin in the same sentence. People were saying, you're setting him up. And the sentence is not even related to shipping. That is ridiculous to me. 
The shipping rumors are weird because there's a group of people that support those two together and want those two to be dating. Another group of people who would prefer if those two were dating other idols and other members of the group. And then outside of that, we have people who are homophobic to the BTS members dating guys and don't want BTS members anywhere near LGBT. And we see tweets like that that are calling Jungkook gay and all that all the time. And Jungkook already gets a lot of hate over this idea that he could be gay because anyone can be gay, right? A little while ago, Hybe released their fanfic called Seven Fates and the main character who was supposed to represent Jungkook named Zeha was gay. The homophobia that trended over this free Jungkook, Jungkook doesn't want to be gay, it's like chill, it's a story. Then we have literally Jungkook playing a gay lover in left and right music video and people still think that Jungkook cares if you think he's gay or not. I cannot believe the homophobia that still exists in 2023. Like enough. Let me know what you think. Make sure you check out my Patreon for more videos. Link down below. Thanks to this lovely comment right here. Love you. Bye.